Hello, thank you for joining us on News Under Hour on Plus TV Africa. My name is Felicity Ezewike. Former Governor of Abia State, Oju Zokalu, is still at the Kajay prisons in spite of the judgment of the Supreme Court. The Apex Court, it was learned, did not issue any order for Kalu's release because he did not file any application for such. The judgment only covers the appellant, Uday Jones Udogu, who challenged the propriety of a Court of Appeal judge, Justice Mohammed Idris, to try him. The Comptroller General of Nigeria Correctional Service, Jaffa Ahmed, consequently refused to release Kalu because there is no order from the Supreme Court in that regard. Reports gathered indicated that Kalu may have to approach the Court of Appeal where he has a pending matter to ask for his release following the dismissal of the judgment of the Federal High Court Lagos by the Supreme Court. Joining us live by telephone is Justice Mwegbe, legal practitioner. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. That would be my pleasure. Please help us understand why former Abia State Governor Aju Zakalu is still in prison despite the Supreme Court order. Well, um, I am as surprised as you are, because as far as I'm concerned, um, it's not up to continue staying in prison custody till now. Because if you look at the judgment as a team, the court says that all steps, including actions, but are taking point to go to the judgment. The says that all steps, including actions, procedures, and decisions, and other issues taken or conducted pursuant to the first year of permission, dated July 2018. As attempted to and led to the same to the same judgment of the federal high court is set aside. What this means is that the Supreme Court has passed the judgment of the federal high court. And once the judgment is passed, what is the implication? Yes, I know that the people of law I'm beginning to think it to be maybe political. Once the government is quashed, what is the implication? Is there no protocol for the release of uh, prisoners in custody in our prisons? Are they supposed to just um, release without some sort of documentation uh, from the court? What, what the, 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 the court needs to do is to serve, them, to serve the student authority a copy of the government. I have just read to you from the, what the government said and what the government said. He says all, all steps, including action, proceedings and decisions, and all that is true, is here by set aside. So, what is the decision? Is it not the conclusion? What are the other men? Is it not for the future of the flock um, and other things? So what is the thing is the idea by this side and the matter is referred for a retirement. Oh, and so for an and the chief register of chief of the federal high to and the assign the matter to start the you know. So what is the implication of this is this the proceeding. No matter how good it is, it is it's a nullity. The judgment, no matter how good it is, it's a nullity. The Supreme Court is here by telling the 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 federal high court does it in the matter. It does not have jurisdiction, and this jurisdiction can be made at any time, even in the Supreme Court. Okay, uh, the line is a bit, um, uh, Barista, the line is a bit distorted, but uh, to get you clearly, are you saying the prison authorities should have automatically released Carlo as soon as that uh, ruling was given? No, they, want, they are to be found the ruling. They are to be, supposed to be found the judgment of the court. And if they are not satisfied with the judgment of the court, I think the best thing the legal team of all the Carlo will do is to go for judicial interpretation. 
Because it is simple here. He says, all steps, all others, all action taken by the, by the job that uh, in, in that position is thereby set aside. So, what it means that the journey of the federal high court has been touched. Even the proceedings itself is a nullity. So uh, how soon do you expect him to be released? And from what we've heard, um, there are suggestions that for, in order for him to get that release, his legal team needs to go back to the court. I is there any validity in that position? Well, we can do that, but as far as the lawyer, because the prison authorities themselves, they have a legal team. They have a legal department. Have they not read this judgment? My own problem is, is not simply what, what, what people have been conversing or arguing that it's, it, it, the judgment is, is technical, the basic judgment on technicality and all the rest. But these things will have been avoided, I've said it earlier. Because it's a part hand, a part hand man. So, knowing that this thing could happen, why did they allow Justice Eden to go and get a fear to continue the matter? A part hand, not a matter in a government of media, but a part hand. All right. I mean, it's a very simple thing. We ought to have asked for a reassignment and continue to adopt the proceedings of the, of the former uh, Islamic brother. All right. Thank you very much, yes, Barrister. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and your time with us. Thank you.